Well, I'm gonna make a tea here. Oh my god. Tea. I haven't made tea in a while. I think I could put the chicken just right in the crock pot thing, babe. Okay. Goddamn fucking thing. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. I don't have a kettle yet, so I gotta do it like this. you guys um on my way to work. See ya. Love you too. Bye babe. Okay <coughs> guys. It's uh see that 725? I know it's not very early in the morning but uh when I leave to go to work, I might travel up for a couple seconds. Yes, I live in an apartment complex. <clears throat> I do not live at home. Oh, look. So nice outside. Yesterday, the weather warmed up. Sorry about the wind, you can hear the wind. It's very windy outside. Just down here. And yes, this is my gym bag, because I go to the gym two days, two days, like two, like two times per week after I'm done work. A little bit of frost this morning. Alright. And yes, I'm not gonna be one of those people that just fires it up and just lets it and then you just go. I'm not gonna do that. Oh yeah. Everyone makes fun of me about this guy. But I've had him since I had my first car and he's going in every other one until something happens to him. <laughs> once it's warm, I'm gonna go head off to work and then once I'm pulling into the laneway I'll uh I'll resume the video and see you guys there. Hey guys. <clears throat> really nice little view of the field. There's a snowmobile trail over there. But uh, judging by the looks of all this um, snow that we got and now it's getting warm, I don't think that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the snow's gonna stay here for much longer. It's supposed to be in the pluses all week. <clears throat> Uh, all of this week, anyway, today's Tuesday, I think. Is today Tuesday? Yeah. And then, so all of this week and then all of next week, too, is supposed to be between zero degrees and <clears throat> I think nine degrees is as warm as I saw. But anyway, here we are now. So um, I'll catch up with you guys at some point if I have to, or not if, when I ever end up having to uh, fix something. So yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys there. I don't even know what I need. I need this and this. Oh, I need this. I think this is a 9 16 Nope. 5 8 Got to 5 8 Do you have like uh, like like thread tape or something like 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 for like for pipe stuff? I do. You do. You got some? Okay. There's that and that. I got these and that. I think that's all I need. I'm trying to think what else I need here. Airline cutters, vice grips. I got to uh, replace this air pressure. I'll show you when we get outside. That'll work. Perfect. I should do now. I want to. Uh, 
I'm gonna do this now while it's warm in here. All right, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. We'll do this quick. People are probably gonna give me shit for yeah, doing it like this. You know that, right? <laughs> That's all right. Right now, yeah, we're just we're just kind of just 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 doing it. Oh, sorry, just doing a test drive here. I think that's nope. Is that that'll work. Need this guy here. So I want to tight. Fuck. I wanna tighten this down first. I don't know if I should swear or not. <laughs> oh, you heard the song on the radio? We got a cop. No, nah, you gotta. We can't. Oh, I need this one still. Oh, this is the other the wrong song. I want to put that in the video. <laughs> I like, we don't have to at all. Good. This. <clears throat> Wake me up inside. What are you doing now? So, uh, I gotta go replace uh, the uh, air pressure gauge. Here, I'll show you. So this is the air pressure gauge. Can you see it in the video? Yeah. Okay, it's the air pressure gauge. You guys can see here. I don't know if you can see very well, but can you see that, Ryan? Yep. Like, okay, this. Is supposed to, there's supposed to be an air pressure gauge which goes in here like this. That's what I gotta replace. The driver, this blew up on the, it blew up on the road and he's got something going on. I gotta give him credit, he did a decent job fixing that on the road. So I'm gonna pinch this off so that I don't have a bunch of air. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, a bunch of air piss now out of me. There we go, and if I take this off. Oh yeah. Oh, see, this is why this is why I'm replacing this here. See that? Like you can't reuse that, and this fitting's probably no good anyway. So, <clears throat> for anyone who doesn't know, own a set of these. These are for like. Actually, I'll just show you quickly. You set them in there. Sorry. Cut them flush, and there you go. They're just airline hose cutters. Uh, we're trying to try out a new uh, GoPro angle here, so I'm gonna. Cut that back because I'm going to union it anyway. This end will fit him right in there. Sorry if you guys can't really see what I'm doing here, but I gotta I gotta fix this bulkhead door here or this air pressure gauge. Sorry, because it uh, I don't know if you can see or not, but it broke. Oh, that's broken. Ooh. Oh, okay. I should fix that too. Now, yes, it is. Yes, I am outside. I don't know if you guys can see that any better, but oh, what I should have done is grab a socket or something to tighten this up with. I should have grabbed the right size wrench for that. Oh, oh, I think I hit the camera, but okay, air pressure gauge. It's a little crooked, but that's not that big of a deal. Find it. It's not on the top or inside? No. Oh. How's the angle? Is the angle working okay? Yeah. I think I bumped it a couple times, but uh, everyone's gonna start complaining on how I'm doing this now. Like I said before. Yeah, it's gonna start spinning again. Yep, I need that. Oop, I'm gonna do this now so I can tighten this up. Okay. Now, which. Nope, wrong drawer. I think he put them. Aha, right here. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's the right stuff. Yeah. So, but I already fixed the light on this trailer. Yeah, see, I fixed this here. Yeah. Put two rivets because this one was broken. And then this light here was, was no good, so I fixed it as well. Okay, now just kind of match it up. Always give myself just a couple inches extra just in case. Uh, we'll just go like work. Oh, fuck off. First. There. No, come on right here. Connect this to that, like this. Look at the shock. The shock is, oh yeah. 
The shock is beat. Look. Can you see this here? It's got no uh, skirt on it. This one does. Okay, looks like we're ready to shock too, for Christ's sake. That's a good find right there. Oh shit. That's a very good find. Oh, I don't know. I was right before. Let's do this again here. Fantastic find there. I have to tell Cleo we need a shock. What the hell? In my opinion, oh god, these are way better than the Quick Connects, but whatever. Where is? I keep hitting everything. And then what I'll do is I'll go over the truck, air the trailer up, then I'll take the vice grips off of this airline. Just gonna go build up the air. In case you didn't know, semis and uh, semi trailers. Oh, there's lots of air in it. Right. Well. There's lots of air, but we'll make sure to get, get to the. Uh... Oh. I know you shouldn't rev a cold engine, but I'm not gonna be very long. <laughs> There. This just shows you how much air pressure is going to these airbags. Which looks like, oh my, 2015. Let's see. Yeah, but that shock is no good, so I'm gonna have to take a picture of that and show Cleon. So I gotta get some zip ties to tie all this back up yet. After. Just wanna take all the snow off of this so my shit doesn't rust. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting new to this whole GoPro thing here. And what am I just gonna cut that here? Cut him here. See if I can I can never start this stuff. It's always a pain in the ass. If anyone has any good tips on starting this airline, oh no, never mind. We got her. Cut him up, air pressure gauge is still working. I think the driver had to do this while he was on the road, so I'll fix it up here nicely. There we go. So we'll tie this together like this so that that fitting's not hanging way out in the middle of nowhere. Oh. Well, <laughs> cheap zip ties. <laughs> that fucking hurt. I think they're also really cold, which is probably why it broke. But if anyone asks, I did it properly. There, where's this? Oh, I should have grabbed my brand new flush cuts that I just bought. Oh well, make sure this works. Okay, that's really loud, that works. <laughs> okay. And one air pressure gauge replaced. Still good? Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Sweet. Yeah. Always gotta take the boots off. Okay. And now I'm gonna put a little PSA here. By no stretch of imagination am I a uh, truck driver. I am just a good old mechanic. Just gotta move this truck and park her back in the spot. And like I say, just another PSA, I am not a truck driver by any stretch of imagination. I just wanna put that out there. <laughs> nice little POV action. A rookie backing up a trailer.
I'll put this stuff back. Oh, <laughs> don't really, don't, don't uh, rake me over the coals for that. But there's the only thing I don't like about these drawers that all the wrenches slide for. I gotta constantly pull them back. Gotta get something nicer for that, but that's okay. That's for another day. And then uh, I've seen some comments about the crow's, crow's foot wrenches there. Hopefully if I have a day that this week that I'm not super busy, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna buy some wrenches here. And then I'll probably look at those uh, ratcheting wrenches that the, I should have took his name down. Thanks for the suggestions. I appreciate it. So I know what all to buy. Maybe I can find a uh, roll cart or something too. Throw that in the <laughs> stuff away. Hey, O'Keefe's, we're still waiting for a sponsorship. I'm just kidding. This is fantastic stuff. Not paid to say that. See, these are the, those flush cuts I was talking about. That's what I should have brought outside with me. Oh, well. Next time. Still got a couple more vice grips that are, uh, see, even these are sliding. I gotta get a, one of them wire racks again, like I mentioned last time. Oh, this can go in here too. Oh, I always preach to everybody, don't slam my drawers, and then I hear slamming everything. Put that back. I don't know where we found this. Here's my creeper. I didn't mention that last video, but my creeper. But yeah, this is, uh, this here's the next project. I uh, already replaced the hydraulic filters, but uh, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, November 10th, 2015 was the last time this oil filter has been replaced. So we're gonna replace him and we'll go over here. Uh, we're gonna do that. Got some more air filters coming. We're gonna change the engine oil and replace this fuel filter here. And yes, this is a Cummins uh, motor, 4BT I believe. Uh, see right there, they got the uh, heater core blocked off. I haven't figured that out why yet, but we will. And then uh, what else? I think there's another couple of trailers coming back this week I might have to do some work on, which is okay. It's good videos, you guys can see. I gotta order this part for our shunt truck. And uh, yeah, so, gotta deliver that anyway. So yeah, we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.